are the practical sums for the binomial distribution that is in chapter number 2 in 12th standard. Now, in binomial distribution, here it is a question. There are three percent defective items produced in a factory. Means here the main purpose of the factory that is for production and whether it is produced by man or machine. Some defects that are exist during the production. So here there are probability that three percent defective items produce in a factory. It means if I am producing 100 products then out of which 3% are defective and it means 97% are non-defective products. 4 items are selected randomly. Means if after completion of production there is some person like supervisor who is observing this production and uh, he selected randomly four products and he checked out whether it is defective or not. Means four items are selected randomly. Find the probability that there will be no defective items. Means here we have to find the probability that there is no defective items. Okay, means all are non defective. Okay, so now. In this question, formula that you may well know, like P of S is equal to N C X multiplied by P raised to X multiplied by Q raised to N minus X. Got it? The formula for P of X is equal to N C X into P raised to X into Q raised to N minus X. Now, there are three person defective items. P, probability. Probability for defective items that is 3 percent. So, 3 divided by Z because here is or percentage so and probability sum of probability should be 1 ok so 3 divided by 100 it means 0 0.03 this is for P next one Q Q is equal to 1 minus P 1 minus 0 0.03 it comes to 0 0.97 this is for Q. P is equal to 0 0.03 and Q is equal to 0 0.97. There are four items selected randomly. Means total, uh, total number of selection that is for four. Out of which we have to find the probability that there will be no defective, no defective means X. Out of this selection, we have to find the probability that there is no defective, means defect is 0, once again. Probability, here that is provided 3%, so 3 divided by 100, 0 0.03. Q is equals to 1 minus Q. 1 minus 0 0.003 0 0.97 4 items are selected so n is equals to 4 and there will be no defect so x is equals to 0 if they ask like there will be 1 defect x is equals to 1 there will be 2 defect x is equals to 3 there will be 3 defect x is equals to 3 there will, there will be 4 defect x is equals to 4 there will be 5 defects not possible why because total number of selection that is for 4 means we can say that 0 defect 1 2 3 max to max 4 if someone has selected 4 items and all the 4 numbers that are defective but more than 4 that is not possible 
okay because only four items are selected now here put this is the formula put the value in this formula and four c instead of x it will be zero p zero point zero three raised to x will be zero multiplied by q zero point nine seven raised to n minus x four minus zero. So now first of all four c zero. Answer is one. Here the base is zero point zero three and power is zero. Any bell having a zero power. Answer is one. And last one, four minus zero that is four zero point nine seven raised to four. So in calculator. Like zero point nine seven multiplied by two, three, and four, it comes to zero point double eight five. Remember very carefully here in calculator if you uh, for if you calculate in the zero point nine seven having a four power, then all ten digits that are covered here, but Here we have to write only four digit during while calculating, and after completing this calculation, our answer will be zero point eight. Only two digits after point there are two digits, and if third digit is more than four, then in second digit we have to add one. Means here it is a a, but third digit is more than four. So in second digit we have a n one. So instead of eighty eight, it becomes eighty nine. So this is the answer. Means they have asked you to find the probability that there will be no defective item. Means someone has selected four items and there is no defect in this selection. So here it is a probability that zero point nine eighty nine percent probability that there will be no defect. No defective items out of these four items. Got it? So here it is the first sum. It is a very simple and basic sum. Then after we move on for another type of different sum. Probability that person living in a city is a non-vegetarian means person residing in a city where the city is. Non vegetarian and that is zero point twenty. So P is equals to zero point twenty. Then Q Q is equals to one minus P, which means one minus zero point twenty, and our answer will be zero point eighty. It is for Q. If P is equals to zero point twenty, Q is equals to zero point eight. Now find the probability that at most two people out of six, at most two people out of six randomly selected, which are non-vegetarian. Means if you are residing in a city like non-vegetarian city. That almost the people having the habit of non-veg, okay. So here the probability that out of six, two people, at most two people are non-veg. That we have to find the probability. That how many probability that out of six people, two people having a non-veg. Okay. So now n is equal to total number of selection six. Out of which we have to find the probability. Not for to remember this. Here they have not asked to find out only two people. At most two people. At most means maximum two people. 
it means there may be possibility that no one having a habit of knowledge out of six zero out of six one out of six two because they have word used at the most if here the word is at least then more than two means two plus three plus four plus five plus six but at most means less than two zero plus one plus one okay so what we have to find out here we have to just find out p zero here x is equal to zero p one p two and sum of these and whatever you the answer is the final answer got it so here they have not asked to find out like this that probability having zero effect here at most two people means we have to find out that zero probability probability of one probability of two and sum of these it means this type of formula that we have to solve for three times first p of zero then p of one then p of one okay so first now i am going to start uh, p of x that is n c x into p is to x into q is to m minus x first of all Instead of instead of x, I am putting here zero. Value of n six x zero six c zero multiplied by p is to x p zero point twenty is to x value of x that is zero multiplied by Q zero point eighty n minus x six minus zero. What is now six c zero equals to one zero point twenty raised to zero again. One six minus zero six and zero point eighty raised to six means zero point eighty two three four five six it comes to zero point two six two one. So if here I am solving this. One into one into zero point two six two one. Final answer zero point two six two one. This is for probability of having zero people out of six which are non-vegetarian. Now second one probability of one here zero that we have solved. Now going for one. Again, same formula. Six C one instead of zero, it is one. Multiply by zero point twenty raised to one. Multiply by zero point eighty raised to six minus one. Got it? N is equal to six. X is equal to one. Now. Six C one comes to six. Zero point twenty is to one comes to zero point twenty. Multiply by here six minus one that is five. Zero point eighty is to five. Zero point eighty two three four five. Answer is zero point. Three two seven six. So if I multiply these three values, it means six multiplied by zero point twenty multiplied by zero point three two seven six. The answer is six into zero point twenty into three zero point three two seven six. Answer is zero point. Three nine three two. This is for probability of one. And last one, 
Now, probability of two, P of two, six C is two, multiplied by P that is zero point twenty, multiplied by two X. Instead of X, now value is two, multiplied by zero point twenty. N minus X value of N that is six, value of X that is two. Now six C two means six multiplied by five divided by two. Answer is fifteen. Multiplied by zero point twenty raised to two, it comes to zero point zero. Multiply by here six minus two it comes to four and zero point eighty is to four two three and four zero point four zero nine six. Now here the first value that is for fifteen, second value that is zero point zero four, third value that is zero point four zero nine six. Now multiplication of these three. Fifteen multiplied by zero point zero four multiplied by zero point four zero nine six. So our answer will be zero point two four five eight. This is the third answer. So here you can see that probability of having zero, probability of having One probability of having two. So you got the answer: zero point two six two one, zero point three nine three two, and last one zero point two four five. Now sum of these three: one, two, and three. Zero point two six two one. Zero point three nine two plus zero point two four five eight. Answer is zero point nine zero double zero. But you know very well that after point there are only two decimals, means nine and zero. If third decimal is more than four, then we have to add in second decimal. But here. In third decimal it is less than four, so now here is the answer. Means answer is zero point nine zero. So now we can say that here p of zero plus p of one plus p of two, and final answer is zero point nine zero. Here is the final answer, and here is the formula and its calculation. So they ask the for. At most two out of six randomly selected, which are non-vegetarian, means we can say that if I am selecting six people, out of which at most two are non-vegetarian, and the probability comes to zero point nine zero. Okay, got it? So most easily sum because here we only formula and all the calculations regarding this. So now. And ending this session, and from the next class, there is the last class in which I am going to solve one another sum for your practice purpose. So, thank you for the today.